Hey everybody, Keffy here. So I'm the proud owner of one of the fastest graphics cards on the planet currently, the Asus 4090 Tough OC Edition. And I planned on overclocking the absolute dog shit out of it, right out of the box. Put an EK water block on it, put liquid metal on it, got a 1600 watt power supply, an i9 13900KYS, suck a gigantic 560 millimeter radiator in the air conditioning vent to go sub ambient, you know, all the standard stuff. Only problem is, I am apparently one of the bastard children punished by NVIDIA for buying my GPU this late, and now I'm stuck with a max voltage of 1.07 volts, at least until my EVC2 shows up. What I've been told is that at some point, an NVIDIA pencil pusher did the math and realized that their warranty rates were too high this generation or something, and so they released an entire GPU revision for the 4090 that included a voltage reduction. Uh, there's also something about a voltage controller moving to the board off of the GPU chip. Sounds like an excuse. Who really knows? Who really cares? The point is we have reduced voltage and that makes these cards theoretically less powerful than their predecessors. Uh, and that's not cool, bro. I want to beat human slinky in, uh, all of the benchmarks and that's never going to happen so long as he has 50 more millivolts than I do. Um... <laughs> Of course, he's, he's probably got way more volts than that. But anyways, anyway, uh, so I've already flashed the 1000 watt Strix XOC BIOS in a previous video. This is about something more relevant to the average person, simply getting their damn volts back from the green time god. And during the process of flashing that XOC BIOS, I realized that I may have found the solution uh, for 4090s, 4080s, and anyone else that really needs to flash a BIOS for any reason. So... I recently decided to release my patched NV flash that can flash almost any BIOS to almost any card. Mismatches and board IDs be damned. I've essentially jailbroken NVIDIA graphics cards. You can flash anything to them uh, as long as it's not a custom BIOS. I don't think we've figured that part out yet because there's a signing process. But anything that's ever been on any NVIDIA card can now go to any other NVIDIA card. Um, and that's scary and powerful at the same time. If, if, I mean, look, it's it's not dangerous. You can flash back uh, if you flash the wrong thing or your power goes out or whatever else the case is. Usually you can flash back. I, I haven't heard of you being unable to do that. But nonetheless, uh, full disclaimer, you're on your own. This is the most dangerous, relatively speaking, thing you can do to a graphics card. Anyways, anyways. So, uh, you know, I flashed the 1000 watt XOC BIOS, uh, but more to the point of this video, the BIOS from higher voltage revisions of our cards as well, uh, and my testing showed that it actually worked. So, believe it or not, it works perfectly. Uh, a 1.1 volt uh, BIOS works perfectly on a 1.07 volt card. Now, it's not impossible that your combination will have a problem, but many have tested this to great success. Both the 4090 and the 4080 were affected by this bullshit voltage reduction, and both have been tested to be fixed by flashing to an original voltage BIOS. Now, there's currently only validated BIOSes for the Strix version of my card, not the Tough. I don't feel like clicking through hundreds of unverified uploads uh, just to find the right one. Uh, I know the Strix BIOS works on the Tough PCB, um, so I'm just going to pick the latest one and download it. And we're going to move that into our NV flash folder really quick. Let's rename that just a little bit easier. And we'll just call it, uh, what are we going to call it? Strix Volt. Yeah, we'll just call it Strix Volt. Okay. So there's nothing uh, on the Tech Power Up website, by the way, that tells me this is a 1.1 volt BIOS, at least nothing I've been able to determine. Uh, so you may have to try different files, uh, but, you know, eventually over time, people are going to know what to flash to what. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this, you don't have to figure it out for yourself, but we'll see. Um, appreciate the help from everyone. Uh, and if you do flash something, please let us know uh, so we can add it to the list of things that have worked. So before I flash the normal 1.1 volt Strix BIOS to our card, we're going to actually show the before and after that the small voltage change can make instability by using superposition. Now I'm just on the edge of crashing. Uh, I'm running superposition at 1080p extreme at just over 3.1 gigahertz at 1.7 volts or 1.07 volts. 
Uh, a single tick more of core clock, and it won't make it past the first scene. So let's get our score one more time, and then go ahead, and we're going to flash. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and just get the benchmark done, uh, because the recording will affect the score and everything else, and we want to get a proper score. So I'm going to stop the recording, and I'll see you after the benchmark is done. All right, we've got our score from the 1080p Extreme benchmark, and I actually reset my personal high score, uh, 24,015. Uh, putting us at position 56 in the world. So we are now going to actually go ahead and flash the BIOS uh, and see what we can get out of a little bit more voltage. All right, so we have successfully flashed the 4090 Strix BIOS to our 4090 TUF. Uh, the NV Flash K utility is going to ask you uh, to type yes in uppercase a uh, number of times. Uh, one for the PCI subsystem ID, we say yes. One for the board ID, we say yes. And finally, as usual, it'll ask you for one final confirmation once it has matched the BIOS to the board. Uh, technically speaking, <laughs> it doesn't really match. Uh, and you press Y one more time, it'll flash it, take about 30 seconds, and then you're good to go. Uh, you don't always actually have to reboot. Uh, it might be a good idea to do so anyways, but technically speaking, once the graphics driver has reset, the BIOS is reloaded and the GPU is rebooted. So uh, we can immediately show that we now have 1.1 volts. Uh, we'll set a boost lock, and there you go. And we're also going to go into GPU-Z. We're going to confirm in here that we do, in fact, have the 1.1 volt uh, yep, there it is, and we're also going to check the BIOS that it in fact matches. So this is the BIOS that comes with the Strix. You'll notice the minus 70 plus 20 adjustment range instead of the plus 33 that you would see on the Tuf. So this is, for all intents and purposes, a 4090 Strix now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into superposition and we're going to turn up the clocks and see just how far we can take it. Now. I'm not going to record this part because that's going to reduce the performance and I don't have a capture card and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to pause the recording and I'll get back to you guys once I've found out how far I can take this along with the new score just from getting a voltage increase. All right, so after adding back the 30 millivolts that I paid for, thanks NVIDIA, uh, I managed to get another 60 megahertz on my clock. Um, I was able to push it to 3250 actually and get the benchmark running. It had a couple of artifacts and it almost finished a couple times, but it wasn't very stable. So I decided to just down clock a little bit and try to get a good score there. And we definitely got a good score. We smashed it, matter of fact. We got 24817 this time, uh, just from another 60 megahertz on the clock. That's the only thing we changed. Here's the comparison. We were result number 56 in the world. Now we're number 44 in the world. We got an extra 6 FPS average, another 3 max, um, and the only thing that changed was an extra 60 megahertz. So if we come down here, the temps were pretty much the same, 1329, 1327. Um, so this is sub-ambient. This is using my ridiculous air conditioning system plus water cooling. But I imagine the results on an air-cooled uh, wouldn't be much worse going from the 1.07 to the 1.1 volt. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty safe bet for a lot of people assuming you can find the right BIOS. So uh, we're running our 8200 sticks at 8546. And yeah, we're running on Windows 11, blah, 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 blah. So that worked out great. We flashed a BIOS and we got free performance basically. And now that NV Flash K is a thing, this is now possible for the 4000 series owners, the 4090 guys, the 4080 guys. You should be good to go now. So let me know how it goes. Say hi to me on the uh, Overclock Discord. Say hi to me on YouTube, Reddit, whatever, and enjoy. Godspeed, overclockers.